subscribe my channel for more videos and latest abyss of it going guys welcome back to another video so these days i've been working on a new series of organic chemistry so in this video i'm, I'm going to be showing you on how to make soap and glycerol or can be said as glycerin out of triglycerides which are often called as um, cooking oils which are often included in cooking oils and more so these glycerides are of monoglycerides diglycerides and triglycerides so the one which we are using right here is our triglycerides which are often available in the cooking oils of, uh, at home so one which I'm using right here is sunflower oil so let's do this so before I start my video make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos and latest updates of it and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button so as usual we require some oil I'm using a 20 milliliters of sunflower oil and in order to break the bonds of it we require some strong reducing agent for which I'm using sodium hydroxide you may also use potassium hydroxide but it's quite expensive and that's where people find trouble and soon I'll be making a video on how to make sodium hydroxide out of lye which is lye out of sodium chloride solution which is often called as brine and some saturated sodium chloride solution we are using sodium chloride solution to salt out the soaps out of it because uh, it helps in precipitating the soaps out of it so that we will be getting these both things separated with glycerol as well as soaps it will be better and if you are doing this uh, in order to concentrate on glycerol so I mean if you're using this to make glycerol then it's then it's honestly better for you to use some methanol because methyl methyl fatty acid salts are really um, you know they can just separate out of glycerol pretty well and it's and it, it improves your yield pretty well so some heating source I'm using a candle though um, as, as I'm a star of these things right here first pour in your sodium hydroxide liquid itself here so at first itself it starts to precipitate out into soap and glycerol for a better yield, I recommend using some heat uh, up to 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. With continuous stirring, keep heating. I blew that candle before I blew my birthday candle itself. So as the solution attains a 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, I blew the candle off. And now you can just pour your um, saturated salt solution in this. And now the soap totally gets solidified here. Here we go, we got two solids here, and one is the soap, and the other one is uh, the miscible glycerol in water. And also there's some excess of sodium hydroxide solution inside this. We can separate it out pretty simply. So for separation, I'm using a funnel with two muslin cloths two thin muslin cloths where they can filter off most of the soap away so here we go let's pour it in uh, but unfortunately I messed it up we, we gotta do this again oh. so I'm using this gravitational filtering here takes a while but you'll be done as I have separated these both, I, I got a miscible solution of glycerol, which is mixed with water. And you can also distill this in order to get pure glycerol. Or you can simply evaporate this as glycerol has a higher boiling point. I've also got the precipitated soap out of it. So this is it. As we, as we use this, I use sunflower oil, we got some yellow sort of precipitate. 
if you're using this for some professional works then i recommend not to use all these sort of things because for making soap you require continuous stirring to make a hard precipitate and this is not exactly a good precipitate here though for making glycerol as i said before you require some methanol to get the pure crude glycerol out of it i've also prepared some chemical equations for you to understand how, how these things bend on how the, how the cleavage of bonds went on and everything so this is glycerol so i also got the short form of this over here so it makes an esterified bond with a fatty acid by water moiety h and oh there which forms h2o and it'll be removed and the leftover contents are made into triglycerides monoglycerides and diglycerides so as we pass in some sodium hydroxide along with some water the H or the hydrogen from NaOH, the sodium hydroxide, will be making the bond clear and it will be using this back. It will be replenishing the H back and the leftover NaO are just bonded up over here along with this bond. This half bond is broke. Actually, there will be a cleavage right here. And this one will be forming back to um, glycerol and this will be forming into the sodium salts. So this is the chemical equation. This is the alkyl group and this is the carboxyl group which, which is uh, attached with the sodium. And the sodium loses a pro uh, electron and this oxygen gains an electron. And we will be left with glycerol here. <coughs> Hope you might have liked this video. Make sure to subscribe my channel and hit over the like button if you like this. Thanks for watching.